Hey girl, welcome back to Glam Life by Meg, where I teach you how to efficiently and glamorously live your very best life. Say hi in the comments if you're new here. It's nice to virtually meet you. Before we get to the good stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified every single time that I post a video. Welcome back to my Beauty Basics series, where we talk about different types of beauty products, what they are, how to use them, and how to apply them. Today, we're talking about Blush. Blush is that thing that gives your face a little bit of life, a little bit of color, a little bit of lift, making you feel a little bit more alive, really. We put that foundation on and then there's no color left in our face. Blush is another one of those things that we love to just play with. We want to put on mommy's blush and lipstick and just play. There are multiple different types of blush. There are liquid blushes, cream blushes, sticks, powders, there are many different formulas. You have to figure out which formula works best for you. My suggestion, if you want your blush to last all day, because blush is one of the first things that fades from your face throughout the day, because you're brushing your hair back, you're running into things, you might do a little scratchy scratchy. We touch our faces a lot more than we think we do. I like to lock my blush in. What I like to do is start with a cream blush. This is a blush in a stick. This is the ColourPop blush sticks in the color 25-8. Application is key. So I typically start with a liquid or a cream formula and then I put the powder on top of it to really lock it in. What you don't wanna do is this on your face. If you just take that and drag it right on your cheek, it's gonna be intense. I suggest taking a synthetic bristle brush, dabbing it in there and then dabbing it on the face. It makes it much more calm. Yeah, cause this, that's a lot. It's a beautiful shade though. So yes, you'll see me here taking a synthetic bristle brush, tapping it in, and then tapping it onto the face. After the cream blush is placed on the face, I will then take a separate brush, a separate clean brush, and dip that into the powder, and then start dabbing that on the face. Your placement is just as important as the product in this case. If you put your blush too low, it really drags the face down. And if you put it too high, it can look eclectic. Everyone has a different facial structure and a different face shape. For myself, I like to keep it higher. I start by applying it back closer to the temple and then bringing it forward just a little bit. I would rather focus it up higher on the cheek so that it lifts the face as opposed to putting it like really far down and really close into the nose. It looks a little bit more doll-like and it doesn't quite work so well on my face shape. I like to bring it up high and bring it back. If you have any questions on how to apply this to your own face, definitely schedule an appointment with me on the Naya Beauty app. I do virtual makeup lessons. You can book a 30 or 60 minute session. We can go over whatever it is that you have questions about for your face. What types of lip products to use, how to do your eyebrows, what types of foundations, blush, how to apply it, which products to get. It's me giving you my undivided attention so that we can help you figure out what your own personal definition of beauty is. Link is in the comment section below. Download the app, book with me. You'll see a picture like this. That's me, book with me. Remember, makeup is meant to be fun. If you love it, wear it. If you don't, don't. That's simple. You're beautiful just the way you are, but if you wanna have fun with it, I can help you out with that. That's it for this video, and until next time, stay hydrated, sis.